The Friends of Fertility Support Group is addressing an interesting and important topic this time around. Executive Director and my producer, Ashley Matulis, is here with all the details. Hello. Well, who's, who's flying this plane? Joe Bird is in there. Joe's Bird, Joe Bird, are you in my head? Are you talking to me in my head? <laughs> That is scary. Okay, let's hurry up and get this done, Joe. <laughs> he's already told us. He's already messed it up. So. <laughs> well, let's talk about your group first, and then we'll talk about your theme. Yeah, so Friends of Fertility was started a couple years ago. I went through IVF and infertility treatments um, for several years before I got pregnant with my twins. And so um, while I was going through those treatments at Boston IVF, I asked, you know, is there a support group? And it just so happened that Leslie Waddell started a support group right after my twins were born. So I became quickly involved with helping her, and then she stepped down, so I kind of took over the reins. And uh, we meet once a month, and it's just a support group for couples, individuals, anyone going through infertility, infertility treatments, just starting out with a diagnosis from your OBGYN through, you know, we've got some women who unfortunately have had to go through several rounds of IVF and still wow. don't have their children or, you know. That sort of thing. So we're just there to meet and support each other. We're on Facebook, so we have a social media presence. Um, a lot of people message us, you know, with questions, and you know, it's just nice to have people who have gone through it. Because um, I can come to you and tell you all about it, and I did. Mm -hmm. But you just kind of shake your head and you nod and you say, "Yeah, you know." Yeah, I, mean, I don't know anything feel, that you're saying. You <laughs> feel certainly compassionate and, and sympathetic and right. empathetic, but it's not your experience. Right. And, watching you go through the experience you went through. I mean, we can all appreciate the anxiety, but it's not our body. Right. It's not our family. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, we celebrated it with our TV series following you the whole way yeah. to you got these little wild, wonderful kids oh, of yours. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they are wild. <laughs> so you have a different topic every month, and this month I think is, is a pretty interesting topic for people going through this process. Yes, this is probably, we have did it two years ago when we first kicked um, the group off. Um, having Boston IVF come in with their financial um, people and kind of giving us a rundown on how am I going to fund this? I mean, a typical IVF treatment, if nothing goes wrong, is around twelve to $15,000. And if you don't have insurance coverage, which Indiana is not a must-cover state as far as viewing infertility as a disease, um, so if your job doesn't cover it, then it's, out of pocket, it's right? all out of pocket. It's all right. cash. And... 98% of people have to pay that, you know. So um, Boston IVF is going to come in this Thursday, April 4th, um, at 6.30 at the Women's Hospitals where we will meet, and they have a whole PowerPoint, and we'll go over companies that maybe offer insurance coverage, um, what you can do um, as far as financing through them or financing through, you know, other companies that kind of help with that. And, I mean, it's not just the treatment, it's also the medications. You know, the medications for IVF can be anywhere between three and five thousand dollars just for the medications for ten days to get you to where you need to be to have the treatment. So there's just so much to know, isn't there? There's yeah. just so we think, oh great, you know, here and here of course are your happy results there. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've what never a seen a picture, Joseph. I've Thank never you seen them still that. like that. Yeah. I mean that I've never <laughs> caught them asleep. But I mean it what a joy it is. But what an ordeal too. Yeah. Yeah. It it is a very long process for some people. It's a very emotional process oh, yeah. uh, for everyone involved. I mean, I, you know, and you just kind of handle it differently. So when I was going through my IVF, you know, all the drugs that you have to do and everything that you, you know, have to do pre to prepare for it, um, it's a lot of injections and doing that daily, several times a day and that sort of thing. And I actually let my family be involved in that so that they could kind of, you know, my friends and my close family, I mean, even Joe, you know, come and, you know, help me with my medication so you can kind of feel like you helped get these miracles here. Well, um, you, had, you had quite a tribe, quite a support yes. group. So you can be a part of this support group, and I encourage you to do that. Meet Ashley and all the other families that are going through and can really share your burden because they yep. know exactly what it's like. Thank you. No now, problem. Uh, Joe, take those headphones off and give them back to Ashley, but thank <laughs> you for being there. <laughs> we come back. Our friends from Green River District Health Department, there they are.